Hey everybody, the long shot signatures here. This is episode 193 of my TTM returns. I got in six successes today. Um, I misspoke in my last video. Uh, I wasn't going to do a video for Friday because there was no mail on Friday. Uh, I did have a package delivered from Amazon. I got a bunch more mechanical pencils for uh, future letter writing as I was starting to run low, but got a whole bunch of those for real cheap. And then uh, did have a failure today. Um, so this is an RTS coming back from David Green. This is the second return to sender I've had from him. Uh, first time it came with an address, but I waited too long and it looks like that address is no longer good. So that one popped up, researched it, looked like it was a good one. That one's no good and there's no forwarding address on there. So not sure. Maybe I'll be able to get them at some point, maybe not. But I did get these people back today. First one is a one-of-one one success from former NFL guard. This is coming back from Todd Callis. Played for the Vikings. I, I think he played for a couple other teams. Might have been the Falcons. Um, but he played for a few years. Played in over 100 games. Started over 60. Uh, I've had this card for a long time. Been meaning to send it out. And I found it in a stack of random cards that I had put into a pile years ago. <laughs> And uh, completely forgot about, um, but found it when sorting through stuff, trying to get a little bit more organized. So finally got that sent out, and very quickly, 12 days, got it back signed. Next one is from a former college football quarterback, so I did at least get one today. Uh, this guy is in the College Football Hall of Fame. He signed one of two. He kept the other picture uh, in 23 days. This is coming back from George Bork there on the right not sure who the other guy is on the left. I'll have to look. Maybe he signs. Um, but he's a uh, big name for, I think it's Northern Illinois uh, football. Um, inducted into College Football Hall of Fame in 1999. And from what I read, he was the first ever college quarterback to throw for th more than 3,000 yards in a season at any level. So uh, very, very accomplished. Really glad to add him to the Hall of Fame collection. Then we have an MLB return. I looked through the list of oldest living uh, baseball players. Um, I want to say that's Baseball Almanac, but I could be could be wrong on who has that list. But someone has that list, and uh, it's constantly getting updated. Um, and a lot of these guys are still really good signers, so uh, sent out to a few of them. This is the first one to come back. Got back one of one in seven days from Charlie Maxwell. He does charge $5 per, but at 95 years old, you know, one of the, you know, I think he's the 12th oldest living player right now. Um, so that's worth it. That's not bad at all compared to what some people charge. Uh, and he was a pretty decent player back in the day. Um, 148 home runs, uh, two-time all-star, um, he had a really good stretch of a couple seasons, received some MVP votes several years, um, wasn't anywhere close to winning it, but a pretty good player, um, made his MLB debut in 1950, so glad to add him. Next, we've got a couple of uh, American Hockey League coaches. First one is a former player. Um, he never made it to the NHL, but I believe he did get drafted. This is two of two in 19 days from Cleveland Monsters head coach Trent Vogelhuber. So there he is playing with the Cleveland Monsters. And then this was a graphic that was made um, by the team when he was announced as the head coach. Almost a perfect fit for a 4x6 photo. But uh, really cool to get him. He uh, was playing not that long ago, I think less than five years ago. So to ascend as a head coach that quickly is pretty remarkable. Um, even if it is in, in the minor leagues, uh, you might have a chance potentially down the road at a NHL head coaching job. Uh, same for this guy. Uh, this is a two of two success in 23 days from Bakersfield Condors head coach Colin Chalk. Now I'm pretty sure he played. I don't think he uh, ever got drafted into the NHL. Not sure what level um, he finished playing at, but he's been coaching for a little bit and he replaced Jay Woodcroft as the Baker, uh, as the Baker feels 
Condor's head coach after he got promoted um, last season. So we'll see how he does with the team going forward. I think they're six, three, and one to start the year. Or I'm confusing it with Boba Huber. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, still cool to get a couple of AHL head coaches. Um, I have gotten some in the past, and I've gotten um, other players who were uh, have since been named head coaches. Um, I think Marco Sturm is one now. Uh, John McCarthy, not the MMA referee, but the player. Pretty sure he's the head coach of the Barracuda now. So I've got quite a few of them at the moment. And the last one here is a college baseball return. Uh, another one that another collector had uh, gotten that I hadn't sent to last season. Um, so figured I would as well. So two of two in 36 days from UMass Lowell head coach Ken Herring. I do believe he played in the Braves minor league system for a couple years, but I don't think yeah, he didn't play in the MLB. I, and I don't know if he was drafted. I never looked that up, but he's been the head coach at UMass Lowell for uh, quite a while. Um, has a pretty good winning record so far. I think over 500 wins uh, in his career. He did coach at another school for a short time, but he's been with uh, UMass for quite a while. But that is it for today, it for this week. Um, mail might slow down a little bit. I've only been able to get a couple of pieces out this week. New job left me too tired to really write any new requests. I do have some that will be going out Monday, and then hopefully I'll be able to share those with you guys whenever they come back. But that is it for this week. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.